Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Starseeker 2 130mm go-to reflector. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of the features, uh, especially what makes this the Starseeker 2 over our previous model, so let me show you some of the things. First off, the hand controller. Uh, it's been redesigned, the keyboard layout is a little different, a little bit easier to navigate. Same with the menu system, it's a little bit easier to navigate. Still has several thousand objects in the database and uses the, the skyline method of aligning. That's probably one of the easiest methods out there to align a telescope. You basically enter your location and time, and then you point the telescope to three stars in the sky. And you don't, the, the, the key is you don't need to know the names of those stars. Just look up and find three bright points of light. Aim it at the first one, tell it you're looking at the first object, go over here, find a bright star this direction, tell it you're looking at that, then over here. It will figure out what you're looking at based on triangulation and the time and date, and identify those stars by itself and then it's ready to start locating objects. So a, a very simple system to, uh, to locate and find objects in the night sky. And you don't need to know the names of those stars, so uh, quite simple. Next, uh, we've upgraded the focuser. The original version was only an inch and a quarter focuser, so you were stuck using your 1.25 inch eyepieces. Well, this is a two inch focuser, so not only can you use those standard inch and a quarter eyepieces, but now you have the ability to use the larger two inch format eyepieces. And what that will do is give you an even lower power, even wider field, and in many cases a brighter image if you're using a even lower power than a standard eyepiece. So big swaths of sky are available now to cover the entire nebula that you're looking at. Say you want to get the entire Andromeda galaxy in one field of view. Well, putting a very low power two inch eyepiece on the telescope will give you that big field of view. And then uh, finally, on the side here, we've made it a quick disconnect using a standard narrow dovetail bar. Most all of our telescopes use the same bar, so easy to go on and off when you're uh, transporting and breaking the telescope down and setting it up. But also, now you can use this mount for pretty much anything else, as, as long as it's within the weight capacity of the mount. You can attach a little refractor, some other reflector, a small Cassegrain, onto this using the dovetail system. So now the go-to mount will work with a variety of different uh, pieces of equipment that you might already have or might be thinking about getting in the future. One of my favorite features of this telescope is how lightweight and portable it is. Here you see it in its three major components, tripod, which weighs next to nothing, the fork arm, and the optical tube. They all go together without any tools necessarily. Simply thread the fork arm onto the tripod, and then you're ready for the optical tube, which again uses this dovetail bar. And that's pretty much it. It's the, the, the entire telescope is set up. You just have to attach the hand controller with the phone jack. And then the power pack. This is a battery pack that holds eight AA batteries. You can use it, or if you're on the field and you don't want to worry about carrying around extra AA batteries, you can power it with some external source, like our Dynamo 12 volt battery, or a car battery even. So again, it's a very lightweight, simple telescope that's designed to go with you to a dark sky site or just set up in your backyard. The Orion Starseeker 2 130mm go-to reflector telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.